Metal Gear, or Halo, right? Okay. Or Relay. No Relay. It's English, just English. Uh, gracias, muchas. Now we're all harmonized. We're starting the conference uh, from imagery to map. Our organizers this year, we are celebrating the 15th anniversary, anniversary uh, 15th conference. We are in this uh, great country of uh, Mexico. I'm happy to meet and uh, greet our wonderful friends from Latin America participating in the conference. I hope uh, this conference will be of interest to you and most importantly, 
it will bring benefits to all of you. Please use the headsets if uh, you need uh, simultaneous interpretation. We have uh, Spanish translation going on on Channel 5. Thank you very much. Traditional conference, annual conference from imagery to map, uh, uh, the digital photogrammetric technologies is uh, held is held in uh, Mexico, in beautiful country. It's our first conference here in Latin America, and you know that uh, the company that is responsible for organization of uh, this uh, conference in the world is Rakurs, Russian company Rakurs. And by the way, let me introduce myself. I am Viktor Adrov, managing director of Rakurs. I hope very much that uh, you will enjoy the conference and it will be very useful and interesting for you and you will receive here new meetings, new friends and new knowledge maybe, no, new knowledge maybe, I hope very much. And uh, traditionally uh, the synchronous interpretation is organized here and uh, you should use uh, channel uh, 6 uh, for English language. Yes, oh no, uh, channel 7 for English uh, language. Дорогие коллеги, друзья, дамы Dear ladies and gentlemen, you know this year we are uh, conducting our conference from imagery to map in Latin America. This is the first time we are hosted uh, by a Latin American country. This is the 15th conference and I'm happy to see good old friends. I'm happy to see new faces also and I'm sure that uh, we will become friends of this conference. I hope this conference will be of use to you and you will be able uh, to find new friends, new business contacts, and just to enjoy yourself. As always, there is uh, ongoing simultaneous interpretation, so use your headphones. Uh, Russian language channel, channel has number six. All right. <laughs> okay, let's get started with our program. According to the agenda, I will open the conference first and tell you a little bit about the conference itself. You can see the title of the conference and that it is organized by the Russian company Rakurs in cooperation with our colleagues. A few words about Rakurs. We're a fairly old company established in 1993 and we've been engaged in photogrammetric technology throughout our existence. This is a fairly popular technology worldwide. One of our partners, or actually there are three of them, the National Committee, the National Committee on Economic Cooperation with Latin American countries, created under the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Russia. We've also been helped uh, by Galantis company from US and our long-standing friends, uh, Moscow Institute and University of Geodesy and Cart Cartography. I'd like to mention our sponsors first. There are two companies. One of them is Scanex, uh, which creates mobile uh, reception systems, small uh, systems. And uh, Vision Map is another sponsor, a wonderful company, producing probably the most effective uh, cameras in the world. 
As for our <coughs> silver sponsors, one of them is Airbus Defense. This corporation also includes companies uh, create, uh, using remote sensing data. And another sponsor, silver sponsor, is Digital Globe, which owns the largest high depth, uh, high res uh, satellites. There are five of them. And the conference was supported, as always, by the ISPRS, uh, International Society for photogrammetry and remote sensing. Also, a numerous, uh, numerous uh, newspapers and journals supported this conference. A few words about the structure of conference. This time, it's slightly less than usual. In China, we had 130 delegates. Here, well, it was hard to reach from Europe, this place. Still, the conference is, has a good representation, numbering about uh, 30 countries. This is the breakdown. Typically, our conferences are attended by executive directors of different uh, companies and uh, specialists of those companies. It's great uh, to see executives of companies who are also good specialists in their respective areas of competence. Also, we have uh, commercial companies, government agencies, and uh, research and academia institutions. Now about the program itself. We'll have three working days and one day off. I'd like to request of all the reporters to submit your presentations to Alexei. He's supposed to sit there. This is Dmitry. Oh, there, there he is. This is Alexei. Please submit uh, copies of your presentations to Alexei. Uh, please be respectful of time. We started with a good harmony procedure. I'm sure we'll be able to make up time. So the first day will be devoted uh, to aerial photography and photogrammetry. The second day will be all about uh, space technology. And day three, before lunch, will be uh, dedicated to master classes, where we will present the latest in uh, Rucker's uh, product developments. And in the afternoon, we will have B2Bs and uh, uh, some seminars. And on Thursday, we're going to have an exciting tour. As you know, we are in the Mayan territory, so we are going to get uh, uh, go to Tulum and Kobo. These are Mayan cities. And in Kobo, there is the largest pyramid, uh, the one that uh, you can uh, climb. But I must tell you, this is not an easy walk. 48 meters of steep steps with no railing. So should you slip, uh, it's going to be a big fall for you. Now about round tables on Wednesday, uh, we're going to have two round tables. On, there are two topics. One is UAVs, unmanned aerial vehicles. You know, at the moment, uh, there are certain controversies here and uh, conflicting points. This is an exciting field uh, which requires uh, bringing things in order. And the second roundtable should be about mapping, cartography, where it's headed. This is going to be 3D. I mean, it's digital now, no doubt about it. What are the latest trends and what are the possible prospects for future? And these are the faces of people who did all the heavy lifting and worked behind the scene for you.
from Rockers. So should you have any questions, please don't hesitate to come up to us. And I, as I told you, we're uh, doing simultaneous uh, interpretation. We have Vitaly and uh, Nicholas who've been working with us for 10 years now. And uh, there are two charming uh, women who provide uh, a Spanish interpretation. Everyone has a smartphone. So you can log into a special website and uh, extract uh, geodata of all delegates of the conference. So whenever these people go to make a presentation, you can simply load their data without having to ask us. Since Rakurus is an organizer of this conference, uh, we don't advertise ourselves. But since we're doing it for 15 years, I'll tell you a little bit about what Rockers is and what it does. As I told you, it was established in 1993 by Russian standards. We are a very old company, but uh, we never uh, abandoned our course. We faced problems, challenges, but they will have been all solved. Uh, we never betrayed photogrammetry, and we are the only company in Europe doing photogrammetry in it, in the purest sense of this word. This is a summary of our activities. We offer effective, uh, cost-effective uh, solutions, and we seek to use all data, all available data from various sources. As I mentioned earlier, the primary business activity for Rockers is Photomod. This trademark was registered in 2000 something, maybe 2005 or six. It has been uh, registered in Russia, in European countries. So should you see any infringement on uh, Photomod trademark, please let us know. We are going to sue those people. We have the production department that does photogrammetric products. That's why our system is very near to reality. And we do testing. I visited the Intergeo conference in Germany, and I remember hearing uh, Canadian colleagues talk well of, uh, speak well of uh, what photo mode is capable of. We are also engaged in uh, research and development. We work heavily with the Russian Space Agency, with the Defense Ministry, and we are in partnership uh, with the top Russian companies which promote satellites. 70 countries, 700 companies, 7,000 workplaces. This is dated, all uh, obsolete data. But I just like this uh, sevens, a series of sevens. It's a lucky number in Russia. So we're spread out across the world. We're found in Australia. And of course, I uh, would like to have more users in Latin America. When we mention Photomod, it's not one software. It's a complex of various technology products that includes photogrammetric digital stations, a product to create a geo-referenced uh, mosaic, a UAV data processing product, which you will hear more about from my colleagues. And in all honesty, we're not always content with uh, what we do. So there are new solutions coming up soon and in the next few months. These solutions, we believe, will uh, become most interesting on the market. We also have radar data processing 
uh, software to will have two reports on that during this conference from our wonderful colleagues of friends from Airbus and also uh, we have uh, a few free or gratuitous products uh, because we want to promote certain photogrammetric solutions helping our friends around the world so that they could do their projects in a better, more effective way. Photomod can process any data, be it data from airborne sensors, uh, from aircraft, or from the ground, uh, from calibrated and uncalibrated uh, cameras. And uh, finally, you can obtain any information uh, that uh, any photogrammetric station can provide a digital elevation model or to photo plan and a few in trans 3D models and on that we'll have a separate presentation. I'm happy to welcome you all. This has been a brief presentation, brief uh, uh, summary of what we will be looking at in the next few days and I have one favor to ask. Uh, we love interactivity, so all questions are welcome. The more we talk, the more we debate, the more fun it will be for everyone. Let's get started. Any questions? Okay, moving on. Traditionally, in our conference, we always give the floor for welcome remarks. First welcome remark will be made by the renowned scientist of the hosting country where the conference is organized. And the second welcome remark honor is given to somebody renowned from Russia because we're a Russian company too. That is why it gives me pleasure to give the floor to a representative from Mexico, our old friend, Doctor of Science, Sierra de la Concepcion Hernandez. He is the chief teacher of the geodesic and photogrammetry laboratory in Sinaloa. Naturally, he is also a member of the Topography Association Mexico and uh, Remote Sensing Association representative. From it. And this is the person who, for 15 years already, has been using, maybe longer, has been using photomod system in his practice. And Sierra told me yesterday that he worked with version number two. It was uh, really astounding for me because it would be hard for us to find it now. Sierra, you have the floor. Por favor. It gives me pleasure to make a speech, and uh, it was very inspiring to hear what you had to say. And uh, as a welcome remark, I'd like to share some of the ideas on behalf of the Geodesy and Mapping Association in a mapping system and uh, how we uh, and what kind of applications we have. Now, when we speak about images, we meet images in all sorts of cartography applications. Images can be used in all digital cameras. And it gives me pleasure that we can participate at this conference called uh, From Imagery to Map. Not only in our country, but all over Latin America, the mapping application uses a lot of Russian technologies. The systems which exist in the world, we develop them. Mexico is characterized by a huge area with uh, undulating terrain and uh, owing to the more developed countries we gladly use those systems and uh, we can uh, visualize the earth terrain on a map 
and we can do the 3D visualization as well. That is why this conference, which was organized by the company Rakurs, who have been reliable suppliers to us for many years, is a real achievement and it gives us honor to receive the managing director of this company and uh, his team in Mexico. That is why on behalf of the specialists of Mexico and Latin America, it gives us pleasure to welcome all of you here and uh, would like you to feel here at home. Thank, thank you very much. I also would like to give the floor now to a person who comes from Russia. You know that this is a 15th conference for us. The first conference was organized in 2001 in the town of Irkutsk on the lake of Baikal and we never could, could, could not even imagine that we could organize, we, we could dream about organizing this conference in Mexico, of course, but we were never sure that this conference would ever leave the boundaries of Russia and will be organized each year in a different country. And uh, in organizing that first conference in Irkutsk, and it was a, a new endeavor for us, we didn't know how to do anything, we we went boating there and a bear almost ate me. It was quite serious, really, almost a tragic story. And uh, in organizing that conference, Igor Kosichkin helped us a lot, who was the managing director then of a large research technological institute in Irkutsk. Before that, Mr. Kosichkin was uh, land chamber director in Irkutsk. Now he is the managing director of one of the not one of the, the largest uh, Irkutsk company. I'm not going to tell you that the Irkutsk area is uh, indefinitely huge and uh, many European countries can fit inside it. And uh, what gives us special pleasure is that Igor, occupying different positions and having different titles, have always been very constant in his love to our company and our technologies. And he was the most critical user of Automod and uh, a lot of success of Automod um, hinges on the support of Igor Kosichkin, who criticizes us. And that's why we developed. Mr. Kosichkin, I invite you uh, to say a few words. Good morning, dear colleagues. I'm happy to see those people who are frequent visitors of this conference, frequent meaning once every year, because in this past 15 years, the company Rockers had put together a system of conference during which we can share our experience. We can synchronize our watches, if you will, by sharing our achievements so we see who did what, who have, who has accomplished what in a year's time. It gives us very positive and uh, professional boost. And we can always uh, find new room for improvement to do it jointly. Just like Victor just told you, often we are being critical about new products. And uh, not, it's, this is very professional, of course. And it's good that the company Rakurus, starting from the very first conference, where out of foreign guests there were only two people, in, because it was very hard for them to fly to Irkutsk then, but still it was proved to be quite a good starting conference. And ever since then, 
when I participate in the Rutgers conferences, I see that the number of participants is not only not only Russian, um, but also foreign participants is growing, which is good. Another thing that I'd like to note is that the Rutgers company is character characterized by its creative um, search for new ideas. Uh, they're not only working on mapping applications, but they're uh, trying to broaden their outlook by looking at other applications in the industry, not only purely topographic plants or processing of some materials, but their application and their derivative application for, say, mapping of forests, land mapping, uh, agricultural applications, urban development applications. So we are talking about sharing by users of the information and experience existing at, on the market now. And I have huge respect for Viktor Nikolaevich, Adrov and the whole company, Rockers, because uh, they keep their team together. And in the past 15 years, they have really uh, done a, a huge facelift for Photomod. And um, now it is a very serious product. And we, when we started, uh, we worked only with aerial photography. Now we work with satellite images. And uh, what Victor proposed, now we can also work with UAV data, which is great. And I enjoy very much that we traditionally working on aerial photography mapped quite a s sizable portion of Russia. And aside from that, the company Rockers always proposes some new add-ons to us. And as a traditional aerial photography processor, maybe we will move on to UAV photography soon. And what I enjoy here is that um, Rockers company always, there's always some kind of uh, competition between users because when somebody is sub offering that they are processing uh, satellite images uh, are saying that they're better. Others, like UAV processors, are saying that uh, we are the future. But I like very much the Rutgers position here, that they provide solution for all types of data and imagery. They have their market, their accuracy level and precision. And I think this is a correct position. We, you shouldn't uh, concentrate only on one solution, but uh, work on universal solutions for all. Dear colleagues, I congratulate everyone with the beginning of this 15th conference. I think that this is yet a new step for the development of uh, the company Rockers and the uh, software suite Photomod. This is our professional experience development and uh, now we can share our knowledge and new, most recent experiences. And uh, I wish everybody good, productive work. Thank you.